All right, I want to show you something that's going on here. Here we have a bunch of red lines right here. And my BER is really bad right here. And if you notice the DQI goes from 10 to 0. 10 and back to 0. So what's going on here is uh, the dash 4 represents uh, how many errors versus how many good errors we have. So dash 4 is, is uh, you would put a 1 and then four zeros after it. So that'd be 10,000. So one error out of 10,000 uh, code words. So what's going on here is... I've got a lot of errors here. So the DQI is like uh, real time, so it's 10 is really, really good signal and zero is completely trash signal. So it's keeping up pretty accurately. Well, the BER, you know, should jump from bad to good, but since it's an average of a bunch of good signal to bad signal, it's gonna take a while to catch up. I need a lot of good signal without any errors for it to clear up and eventually work its way back up to dash nine where it has the cleanest signal. Um, so what we got here is customer backfeeding. This line here, if you watch what happens when I disconnect them, the DQI will jump up to 10 and stay there, and then your BER will eventually climb back up to, to dash five, the dash six, and then eventually jump all the way up to dash nine when it's got clean signal. There it went, it's all cleared out. So anything operating in that range around 579 megahertz, plus or minus a couple channels there, uh, is gonna get affected by uh, direct TV that's back feeding into the system. So let's take a quick look here. As you can see, they have a pretty brand new satellite dish hooked up back here. So somewhere it's tied into our system and we'll have to find that and get it disconnected so it's no longer affecting every customer downstream.